Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the basement. This is the 1010 Club. My name is Jonah, and today I wanted to do a video about a watch that isn't new, but it's a video I wish I had seen before I bought this watch. It's all about the Seiko SRPE03, aka the King Turtle. I was always on the fence on whether or not to buy it, and when I finally did, it's one of my favorite watches in my collection. So if you're on the fence about this watch, this video is for you. The three reasons why you need to buy the King Turtle and you need to buy it now. And here it is. One more thing I should add, this is not only a video for people who are kind of on the fence over whether or not to buy this watch. This is also a video for people who haven't yet spent the extra money on the second price tier of watch because this watch is worth it. This is an affordable watch channel. Most of the watches here, $100, $200. I bought this in February for $429, the most I had ever spent on a watch. And if you're a little reticent to do the same, keep watching because this is one of the watches that is worth it. All right. Reason number one, reason number one is that it has all the upgrades you'd be looking for if you were going to spend that extra money. It has sapphire crystal. It has anti-reflective undercoating on that crystal. It has a ceramic bezel insert. The movement hacks. It hand winds. There are drilled lugs on the sides for easy strap changes. And they also have some nice little details like applied indices all around and applied Seiko logo. And really the only upgrade that this watch could ever use is the bracelet. And the eagle-eyed amongst you may have realized this is an upgraded bracelet. This is an oyster-style bracelet. I got it for $59 from Long Island Watch. So if the biggest upgrade you're going to do is a $60 bracelet, I think you are in a great spot. All right, reason number two. Reason number two is that the price of these turtles have not become massively inflated. The MSRP is $625, which is high. Don't spend that. You don't have to because it's cheaper everywhere else. You can buy this brand new for under $500. In fact, like I said, I bought this for $429 brand new on eBay back in February. Box, papers, everything. That price is still available on eBay. $429. It hasn't gone higher. And if you buy other model numbers like the green, I think it's SRPE05, that's even cheaper, brand new for $374. You also can buy really nice used models for like 200 and something. So if you want to buy it used for 250, I don't need, stop, wa stop watching this video. Go and buy it right now for 250. The prices aren't astronomical, probably because it hasn't been discontinued, but thank you Seiko for not discontinuing one of your coolest watches ever. So that is reason number two. On to reason number three. Reason number three is that this watch looks even better in person. This is such a classy and cool tool watch, and you don't really hear classy and tool in the same sentence, but that's really what this is. It's a upgraded 100% diver watch. Not sure why my voice keeps on cracking. Maybe I'm just that excited, but this is what I mean. Like the ceramic bezel insert, you can tell here on camera a little bit, but you see how it's kind of like shiny and reflective. It catches the light so well it just gives that little attention grabbing detail. Also, speaking of details, the uh, bezel on this watch, the knurling, is super cool. It's different from other turtles. And the bezel action, it's very quiet, but it feels awesome. It's one of my favorite bezel actions I've ever operated. And can't be for every turtle, but look, wait, there it is. Look at it lining up. Also, the dial itself, that kind of grenade pattern, it's like a embossed hash marks. The green obviously looks a little bit more like a grenade. It's almost demure. It's, it's flat black, gives it some toolness to it, but the addition of the design upgrades it. I also am a massive fan of this magnifying candy bar. Like I said in the intro, this is only for people who are already interested in this watch. I know some people might be turned off by that. I think it's awesome. Also, the details on the dial, the gold on the half of the second hand, the back half is black, so it looks like it's floating. The counterbalance just floating along. But the other part of that second hand is a gold that is also used 
in the Divers 200 meter print. Just a really nice, subtle touch that makes this watch that much more elevated. I love this watch. The only downside, the only thing I could possibly think of that is actually kind of a negative is, strangely enough, the action on the screw down crown. And I have not been the first person to say this, so I know it's not just unique to my specific model, but for whatever reason, it's just, it feels grainy. It feels like metal on metal, like unlubricated. Something just feels a little bit off when you screw the screw down crown in and out. You don't do it enough for it to be a deal breaker, but again, everything else with the sapphire and the ceramic and the drilled lugs, everything else being upgraded, it's weird that my SKX has such a smooth crown screw and unscrew action while this $625 MSRP watch doesn't. Other than that, if you are interested in this watch, do it, man. Just do it. You will not regret it. I love wearing this thing whenever I do. And just yesterday, I pulled it out of my watch box. I was staring at it alone and out loud. I just said, man, what a cool watch. And then I looked around to make sure no one heard me acting crazy. But that's what really inspired me to make this video. That's all I got to say about that. I'll put some links down below to uh, the eBay examples. I shared some other links too. I am an eBay affiliate and an Amazon affiliate. I think that's the right word to use, a partner. Anyway, if you use my links, it helps the channel is all I'm trying to say. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>